So today we're up here on the uh, county line, Blair County and Bedford County. We're going to be doing Sproul Peak, Indian Peak. Um, we parked across the trailhead because I wasn't sure about parking. So we'll see how this trail. We're unclear about the directions, but it looks like we're going to take this path up. Going to all trails, not much of a path. Here's some old railroad tracks right here. You can see in the middle of the forest. So I found out about this hike from Day Hike Dave. Um, check his channel out. He has some pretty cool videos. He kind of uh, goes around areas similar to what me and my brother and my cousin do. But uh, that's how I found out about this trail. Day Hike Dave. So this was an old railroad up here. Um, I believe they're making like bricks or extracting some mineral not quite sure what mineral was but i don't know how long ago it was there's supposed to be some abandoned ruins uh, we're, we're gonna try to find them yeah so i don't think this is on the trail per se but i believe this is a view we're gonna head up here and see what's up here so here we are at the first overlook incredible views up here Here we are at the end here, the first overlook. Someone made a fire pit area. Just gorgeous views up here. And walking back down, see the sweeping views to the right. It's a hidden gem. Here's another small overlook on the trail. So as we continue to walk along, it's very narrow, but I mean, just views upon views. And you can see all the moss. So here we are coming up on these abandoned ruins. I think they were like part of the uh, the railroad shed or like maintenance on the cars. We are pretty cool. Not quite sure what this was over here, but look at the brickwork. Cool. So I will go down in there, give you another view. But here's what it looks like up top. Pretty cool area. So here we are entering the uh, railroad shed or whatever it was. Some hinges on the door. It looks like the fireplace is right there. And I think from that day hike day video, they said this sunken area here is where they were able to get under the cars and work on them if they needed to be worked on. Just the brickwork is pretty cool. And all these quarry stones. So here's the back end of it. And I'll walk on the other side, show you what that looks like as well. And here we are on the flip side of this railroad shed. Just continuing to walk along the edge so we can show you the whole structure. It's always cool to find this abandoned stuff uh, that was part of American history, but no longer in use. Just to give you a wide shot, I'll zoom out. Pretty big structure back here. And haven't seen anybody on the trail yet. So we made it to uh, Sproul or Indian Peak. 
And it looks like we're going to do a little scrambling to get up the top. But once my brother gets past us a little, I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to be somewhat obscured. But there it is through the trees. And here's the face of this cliff. I said, I guess it looks like an Indian. But we're going to head up there where my brother is. So here we are climbing to the top. Um, I don't know how secure these rocks are. <laughs> They're somewhat secure. I don't want to drop my phone or anything crazy. Man, good views up here. Beautiful. This is a really cool hike and probably underrated. Um, I don't think it gets that much attention. So here I am at the edge here. A lot of people with graffiti and stuff. But just outstanding views all the way around. Very breezy and cold up here though. Here I made it to the back side of it. There's a little, little area you had to jump over there, but it wasn't too bad. So we're done with Sproul Indian Peak. I'll just show you. We went off a little bit off trail, try to find another vista, but it was just a pile of rocks, nothing to see. So there is like another structure we saw on the way coming up that we saw down another path. That was like the scale house where they used to weigh the, um, I guess the loads of the rail car. So we're gonna attempt to find that. I saw it on another path, but it wasn't on the same path we were just on. So up here, there's this huge dump of just like car pieces and tires just all throughout the woods up here. So there must have been a road where this was easily accessed. So then were, were we supposed to stay on that one? Maybe you want to go back or no. No. Where's this rough ground? It looks like it went down the down road. I don't see it, Tom. How soon was it when we... So we kind of got turned around a bit, but we were able to take a different route and get up to these other ruins where the uh, scale uh, area is. So well, here we are. So here's the back end, or the side, I guess, I should say, of the shed. And someone was here recently because there's a water bottle that's not even open. And here we are at the back. And I'll take it around to the other side. Then we'll go inside and then we'll go down that scale house. There's the scale house. We'll get down there, explore more. So, here we are on the inside of this place. A lot of graffiti. Um, people are making fires in here and stuff. Here we are looking out. And one last look on the inside of this rail shed and then we'll hit, head down to that scale house see what that's about here's that scale house
So here's this, uh, the building with the scale, the scale right here. Looking down. There's some type of system down there. I don't know, I'm not a weight guy. Here's the back end of that scale house and the little building next to it. So all in all, it's gonna be about three mile hike, a little less. Um, had some really good overlooks. Had the one really good overlook at Sprout Peak and the abandoned uh, railroad sheds and railroad related buildings. It was really cool. Well, it's kind of far away. We're located in Southwest York County. It took us about two hours, 20 minutes to get up here, but it is pretty interesting if you get a chance.